Well, today I spent my day making seat brackets. That new seat is pretty specialized and what's on the market just didn't work. Cause that seat has some custom angles built into it. Anyway, uh, so this is what I did today. Anyway, it turned out pretty darn good. I used my, again, my, my tubing for my radiuses and stuff for my brackets. So you can see here how it's come out really good there. And those 45s right there are from the right there where I cut it. And so I'm going to get everything all test fitted and everything out. There's a couple little more reinforcement tabs I want to put on there. But other than that, it's all done. And the seat fits perfect. And so whenever I do a custom seat in a car, or our own personal cars, I have to make sure Donna can drive it. So uh, to make sure it goes far enough forward because she's kind of short. Anyway, so the seat, this is forward here. So that way it goes, it'll go far enough forward, I think, for her. And then, uh, but it, it works really free and simple. So then what I did is I made these screws here, these here, and I welded a washer on it. And then I put a flat spot in there because they're out and then the more wrenches you got to use, it's kind of cumbersome. So what happens is it goes right down there and that way, I don't have to use a wrench, per se. The Allen wrench, and then underneath you just get your nylock there. And it makes it go pretty fast. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's taken quite a bit to do it, but the end result's well worth it. Again, there's my what I use right there. It's kind of out of my scrap pile. Some 4x4 four four tubing here. Anyway, I made four of these brackets right there. And uh, so now I'm going to go put this thing in and see what happens.